What is DevOps and how can you learn more about it and the requirements that it takes to work in a DevOps role? That's what we're talking about in today's video. Thank you to Skylines for continuously asking me about it. I wanted to get this answered for you and everyone else so they are familiar with what DevOps actually is. So let's start talking about that. So I think it's really important to know that you're gonna see oftentimes many different job titles with DevOps associated with them listed in many of the job searching sites. But for the most part, DevOps isn't generally an IT title. It may be associated with another title within IT, but it's not generally a specific position. DevOps is more of a way to help describe in what way you and your organization complete projects and tasks and just the general structure of your environment. When you see these jobs being posted for DevOps, if you go into the job descriptions, you're often going to find that these positions relate heavily to either programming, so developers, or more towards operations, which you would find in something like a system administrator, for instance. You may also see many other types of requirements for these jobs that are outside of IT. It's other types of programs or applications or even experience in other types of roles that help get things done within the business organization. So you might find within a DevOps team, you'll have your developers, you'll have your system administrators, you'll have maybe other staff that relate to what they are doing. So you'll have subject matter experts, you'll have project leads, you'll have any other staff that relate to a specific project. So if you're working on something for the marketing team, you may have people from the marketing team who are then associated with your DevOps team. And that's just to make sure that everything is kind of being covered and a whole. So everybody who is on this team has some type of understanding in one of these areas. And this is really important to an organization. Having different members of your DevOps team who have different roles within your organization can help provide more feedback or more information on specific tasks or duties that are associated with your project. If you haven't figured it out already, DevOps is a cross between development and operations. Development leans more towards the programming side of things where you have your development Developers who are building different applications and things like that. Your operations, that is more of the IT side of things. So you'll have your system administrators or other types of staff that are on an IT team that specifically support you know, the hardware and all the other systems that your DevOps team would utilize. So your servers, your virtualization, understanding different cloud infrastructures and things like that as well. This is one implementation of DevOps and process that could be utilized within an organization. One great thing about IT is that every single job does things completely differently. So from one organization to the next, you are going to find that DevOps can be utilized completely differently. And you may find that if you're part of a DevOps team, you might wanna have different skills and experience in things that you haven't previously done yet. So DevOps is really specific to your organization and the actual tools and applications and other skills that are required within that specific organization. You know, it's going to change from one place to another. So don't expect the same thing over and over again. It's extremely important to read these job descriptions very carefully. So all of this is great, right? But what is DevOps? Well, it's part of your job. It's a means to describe the process in which the company completes projects. That's a very kind of narrowed down description of DevOps that I think everybody can kind of understand. And now you're probably wondering, how do you get experience in DevOps? How do you start? And it really relies on you just getting into the field, getting into IT in general at any level, whether you're going to start working at help desk or start working an entry level programming job, you have to get into the field and then find an organization that actually uses something like DevOps or they're utilizing the agile framework in some way or any other type of framework that is very similar to the whole DevOps process. Now, not a lot of these jobs exist at the moment and you do kind of hear about it very often. So you will see in certain areas, DevOps is widely being used. So try to find a position within a company that utilizes this. Now, one thing that I think is really important to know, there's no set in stone path to working in DevOps. It's not a process that you can repeat or other people can repeat. Just because something works for you or somebody else doesn't mean that it's gonna work for anybody else. 
So getting into the field and getting into an organization that's using DevOps helps move your process further to accomplish the career that you're looking to get into. And with DevOps being so broad, there's nothing specifically that I could say to go and learn or certifications to go and get to help further your chances of getting into that type of career. Ultimately, you have to have knowledge in many things. So whether that's programming languages, scripting languages, different operating systems, learning containers, virtualization, cloud environments, there's many things involved with DevOps. And you don't have to specifically narrow your focus on DevOps. You can start working in system administration or working as a programmer and ultimately, in the organization you're working in, they might utilize DevOps as part of their process in completing things. And I know you're still saying, well, all these DevOps jobs require six plus years of experience. Well, yeah, they do, and there's a reason for that. And that's because there's actually a lot of knowledge and experience that needs to be learned and obtained about DevOps positions. Now, don't get me wrong, there are people out there who just start out working in DevOps. Everything is possible. You hear about these types of stories all the time. And I'm not trying to discourage you in any way, but sometimes starting from the bottom and learning the processes, the tools, the skills, the technologies can be greatly helpful to you to furthering your career and achieving the goal of being in DevOps. So start familiarizing yourself with different operating systems, Windows, Linux, Mac OS. Start learning a programming language, whether that's Java, whether that's C Sharp, whether it's Ruby. Learn scripting languages like PowerShell, Python, Bash. Learn about containers like Docker and virtualization, VMware, virtualizing other operating systems, virtualizing applications, and learn and understand the cloud. So whether that's AWS, Azure, Google Cloud Platform, start learning and understanding. And last but not least, learn to be resilient. Some positions in this field can be hard to achieve. But you, as the person, you need to be persistent in order to accomplish your goals. I hope this video helps and narrows some things down for everybody. That's all I got for you guys in today's video. As always, take it easy.